We steal the waves in the air and we never give them back. We are. 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 Lo fi poli sci. Yes, we are Lo fi poli sci podcast coming at you. Pickering here with what's going on in the world today. Let's start out over in East Asia this afternoon on the Korean Peninsula where North Korea and South Korea have both gone and test-fired some missiles today. And look, this is kind of par for the course, but it's a little bit odd that both actually did so, so close together. I mean, can we necessarily take anything away from this? I'm not so sure we can. I mean, we talked about North Korea within the past few weeks and how rhetoric was firing up from them because, well, truthfully, no one's really paying attention to them right now. Everyone's busy with their own problems. So it would appear that no one is interested in having nuclear talks with North Korea at the moment because it's always the same outcome. Nothing happens. Nothing changes. And just like it's the same old story with that, North Korea uses firing of missiles to get attention when it feels other countries have lost interest. You know? So a question to you lo-fi listeners out there. Will any countries pick up interest this time. Go ahead and write in. Let us know what you're thinking. Now, let's go further east over the Pacific Ocean to the country of Haiti for an update on what's been happening lately. So this summer, we talked about how the president was assassinated and there was arrest, there were shootouts, and lots and lots of questions about who orchestrated the hit. However, we also said we simply didn't know. There weren't any facts to really talk about, just a whole bunch of speculation. Well, now we do have at least one fact to talk about. And that's the fact that at the moment, the prime minister of the country, Ariel Henry, has been banned from leaving Haiti because he's being investigated for his potential role in the assassination of the president. Now, this is big, people, really big. The prime minister of a country being investigated for potentially murdering the president of that country. Keep your eyes wide open on this one, and let us know if you hear something first. All right, now we're going to switch gears just a bit because it's time for our newest edition of the game. Are we landlocked or not? And today we're coming at you with our newest edition, the European edition. Oh yeah, it's simple. We'll give you a country, and you have five to ten seconds to think about if that country is landlocked, meaning not bordering any water or not. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number one, Belgium. Are we landlocked or not? Five seconds, people. And five, four, three, two, and one. Survey says, Belgium is not landlocked as it does have a border along the English Channel. Number two, Luxembourg. Are we landlocked or not? Take five seconds. And you know, I always feel like Luxembourg is one of those countries that really never gets talked about when thinking about Europe. And three, two, one. Luxembourg is, in fact, landlocked. That's right, if you got that one right, two lo-fi loot doubloons for you. Now, number three, Switzerland. Is it landlocked or not? Five seconds. And you know, I've always really wondered, how can any country really stay neutral? I mean, are they? Is Switzerland really neutral? It's an interesting notion, don't you think? And three, two, one. Switzerland is? It is landlocked. Oh, yeah. Now, number four. Denmark. Are we landlocked or not? Denmark. Hmm. And five, four, three, two, one. Survey says Denmark is not landlocked. Oh, no, it isn't. And our last one for the day. Number five. Slovenia. Are we landlocked or not? Another European country like Luxembourg that isn't talked about too, too much when thinking about Europe. And five, four, three, two, one. Slovenia is not landlocked. And there you have it. Right in. Let us know how much of that lo-fi loot did you collect today? But now switching back to the news, fresh off that press, to Russia we go. Now, we've talked a great deal about the opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, who's currently in prison for, well, let's be frank, for bullshit. But his political party slash political allies, well, they've come up with an 
interesting new way to fight against President Putin's United Russia Party. They are telling their allies to vote for the Communist Party because that's for sure still a thing in Russia. They're still a really popular party. And this is such an interesting tactic to me. And, you know, I'm really curious, right in LoFi listeners, what do you think about people in Russia who oppose President Putin and his political party, United Russia, telling their members to vote for the Communist Party? I truly want to hear what you're thinking out there. Get at me. Now, let's turn a bit to some tech news in the world, where Apple is releasing a new critical security update to ISOs and iPhones because there's a spyware out there now able to access data without even being clicked on. Now, that is pretty scary, my friends, because normally you do have to click on something in order to activate or allow access to a hidden piece of spyware or a virus, but not this one. You know, read up on it, people. Get your tackle on and be informed about the platforms that we use. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day. From the BBC Middle East section, the headline, Saudi Arabia Camel Carvings Date to Prehistoric Era. All right, people, this is simply too cool. So I'm going to call it a lo-fi cool read, cool view. Take a look at these pictures. I really don't want to spoil anything for you, but I will say I love ancient art. And I mean, humans back in the day did some pretty amazing things. Things that even we today can't match. Check it out, peeps. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Do you have top 10 ideas? Send them on in to me. Do you have good news to share? Come on, share with us. Please, please, we need to hear that goodness today. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love. Pickering, signing off.